key principle of the arts and crafts movement is that there should be no hierarchy between different sorts of art forms. Any craft can become a work of art. For London Craft Week, we invited Daniel the Gardener to the William Morris Gallery, the childhood home of William Morris, to show us the process of designing a tattoo. Uh, my name is Daniel and I'm a tattoo artist. My name is Dominique Pierce and I'm here to get a body tattoo by Daniel. I like to find the shapes in the body, not place them myself. For me it's more about unveiling the design which already belongs to that person than drawing something on them. Drawing freehand allows me to manipulate every single aspect of my design to each one's morphology, adding dynamic and movement to my design. I'm a big lover of floral tattoo artwork and when I saw that Daniel was doing this collaboration with the William Morris Gallery, I really wanted to jump at the opportunity to get it done. We think of tattooing as being a modern art form, but actually it was very popular during the Victorian era amongst all sectors of society, including the aristocracy. Morris created botanical wallpapers to decorate people's homes and I do the same on people's bodies. I do believe the first place we should call home is our body and we should transform it and decorate it as much as we need to feel comfortable with it. Daniel worked in the gallery's archives, studying Morris's floral designs and taking inspiration from the types of flowers that Morris used. For me, tattoos are one of the purest forms of body acceptance and self-expression. I'm not trying to imitate nature in reality as it makes no sense to me to represent something which is already perfect. It's more about representing the feelings and atmosphere I get throughout the botanical work, synthesizing the key elements from each flower for my own design. This process shows that art can exist anywhere, that any medium can become the subject for a work of art.